Guys, we are back hanging out in the the museum. And guys, we have a fantastic show for you today. Usually, guys, when I get something uh, on my mind, um, I just I just run with it. And there's, you know, we've been having a big discussion uh, on our our collector's dungeon Facebook page about uh, toy exclusives, Target exclusives, I should say, Walmart exclusives, and the, the difficulty of finding these figures. You know, there's some new Masters of the Universe figures um, that recently just uh, have been released. And these things are hard to find. And it got me to thinking because uh, I, I was making some comments. But guys, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. This is a coffee time moment. It's coffee time with MIB. We're back, guys, with some, some great coffee and some fantastic toy conversations and hot topics of discussion. The frustration if you will, of not being able to find the so-called uh, toy exclusives and Walmart and Target. Why is it so difficult? Why is it so challenging uh, to locate these figures? That's, that's kind of what we want to delve into. That's kind of what we want to discuss. Uh, guys, it is. It's frustrating. It's it's very frustrating. It's, uh, it's very draining, very taxing, if you will, to have to drive to Walmart after Walmart after Walmart um, to try to find or, or hope that you can find the toy exclusives that that should be there and should be readily available to us. But we're finding out now that that's just not the case. Uh, we're finding out now that uh, or the stuff that we should, well, I guess we, we've all known for a long time, uh, that scalpers are beating us to, a, uh, to these action figures. They're not being put out on the floor because if they were being put out on the floor in the toy aisles, uh, these figures will be found a lot more frequently than they are. You know, I have people tell me that they, you know, some people in certain areas of the country can find certain action figures, certain exclusives. Uh, we're looking at my collector grade Star Wars retro set exclusive set that was from Target exclusively for Target last year 2019 and these figures I never found these figures in Target never came close to finding these figures in Target I had to go to Big Bad Toy Store and order these guys uh, which brings up an, another uh, classic discussion, uh, another classic conversation. I mean, what's the point of chasing these these exclusives, these Target exclusives and Walmart exclusives in brick and mortar stores if you will never find them in brick and mortar stores? What what's the point? What's the point? It's just easier to buy these figures offline, you know, on the toy websites like Big Bad Toy Store, Mike Cotswell Collectibles. It shouldn't be this difficult to purchase a toy, an action figure. Uh, action figures should be enjoyed, should be, uh, I mean, we should be able to walk into a Target or Walmart and find 
are Boba Fett. I still know collectors, fellow collectors to, to this very day that has not seen a Boba Fett figure. And I was very blessed. Um, my good buddy Jim got this for me. A uh, fellow collector uh, sent this to me as a gift for the museum. Uh, I've never s seen Boba Fett in Walmart. This is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, much like in 2019, uh, the Star Wars uh, figures were a Target exclusive. So Wave 2 is a Walmart exclusive but Boba Fett has quickly become one of the most difficult figures to find extremely difficult uh, to the point where it's not even fun looking for this figure and I'm a huge fan of the Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back movie and I'm a, a, a huge fan of these classic vintage style figures if we look at my Darth Vader guys uh, if you're just joining us we're discussing over a cup of coffee the headache of Target and Walmart toy exclusives have you had any issues with this if so how do you feel about it what's your take on it uh, have you given up like most of us have it's not to me I, I guys I, I'll be honest with you I will go to I will go to Target or Walmart maybe once or twice now uh, if there's figures uh, that's being released and I find out through our our you know our toy website pages uh, Facebook pages groups if I find out there's a toy that's being released as an exclusive um, I will make the journey maybe once or twice to to different locations like Target or Walmart wherever the the, the exclusive figure is being sold and if I don't see it guys I don't think I don't think much of it after that you know, uh, my next step at that point is to talk to Big Bad Toy Store or other toy websites that might or may be carrying uh, these exclusives at some point during the year. And then that's how I, I make my purchases. Um, I'm alleviating the frustration and the legwork of having to chase down these figures um, because guys we, we know coming up empty-handed is not fun uh, when you drive to three or four different targets and you can't find these figures and these figures are just sold out or, or you got people at these stores that simply don't know anything about toys and that's 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 another headache guys uh, you got people that don't know you don't they just don't know the history of these figures they don't know um anything about the action figure that you're trying to explain to them you know it's 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 a lot of young people um that could really care less about toys but guys let's 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 be honest uh toys r us i mean uh well we'll get to toys r us in a minute but walmart and target they are not toy stores like Toys R Us. You know, Toys R Us is ex an exclusive toy store just for toys, nothing else. So, you know, I, I, I made a point of saying Toys R Us because when Toys R Us went out of business, um, you know, we were forced to kind of deal with Target and forget about the, the toy exclusives, you know, forget about that. We were just forced to deal with Target and Walmart, you know, finding toys now. Because without a KB Toys or a Toys R Us or a Children's Palace or these Kitty City, these great places that we knew and grew up loving as kids, without these toy stores, 
I mean, it, it just, it, it limits our ability, guys, to find the things that we want. The thing, the toys that we want, the toys that we are looking for. And I just think that it's just, for, for me, it has. It's, it's, it's taken all of the fun. It's literally taken all of the fun out of collecting these action figures. If it's going to to be an exclusive at Target and you know you simply will not find these toys at Target. What's the point? What's the point? You know, and I and I, I made that statement uh, in a comment on our collector's collector's dungeon uh Facebook page. You know, at some point you we're coming into a stage now as collectors where online shopping for our action figures and our collectibles is more of of the the normal now as opposed to a brick and mortar store and guys believe me i love nothing more than the thrill of the hunt but guys the thrill of the hunt simply doesn't exist anymore for us Unless you're going to maybe in a uh, a, a store that carries a, a, a collectibles, you know, you can hopefully you can find something that you you haven't seen in 20 years or something like that. But Target, Walmart, forget about it, guys. It's, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen for us. And um, I, I hate to sound so uh, bleak and dark. And dreary but I think the sooner guys we come to grips with the fact that we don't we don't control that aspect anymore especially now that there's no toy stores so we're, we're completely dependent on a Target or a Walmart that has an exclusive toy we have no control over that guys we have absolutely no control over that. And you're looking at all these figures that simply I did not find in, in Target or Walmart. And yet they are Target and Walmart exclusives. Made exclusively for Target and Walmart. And this is what this is what it's come down to, guys. Guys, your thoughts. Uh, your opinions as we we drink our coffee and we have our conversations. Um, the headache of Target and Walmart toy exclusives. What's your take on it, guys? How do you feel about it? We want to hear all of that, guys. Uh, we, the the lines of communication are are open. Um, it's very frustrating. Um, it's, it's, it's very, like I said earlier, it's very taxing because you want to find these, these figures, uh, and it's a quick way, it's a quick way to really make a collector fall out of love with a toy line. Try not being able to find a toy that you've had when you were a kid and then they create a a retro version a vintage version that looks exactly like the original and not being able to find it very frustrating guys very difficult to deal with guys I didn't want this to turn into a rant uh, but it, it's, it's somewhat turning into a rant uh, simply because as a collector, we have um, all these aspirations of being able to build our collections uh, with the toys that we've always wanted. The toy manufacturers put these toys out, but I, I just think at some point we're going to have to take the word exclusive off these figures and rename it something because they're not exclusive guys they're becoming uh, practically impossible 
It should be called the Impossible Star Wars Retro Collection because it's impossible to find these figures. Absolutely, positively impossible. What's happening, guys? Your thoughts, your opinions. Guys, I'm going to finish up this coffee, but I just wanted to share that with you today. It was on my mind, so I wanted to get it off, guys. Like I said, if, I, if it pops into my head, I want to immediately get it out here so we can kind of deal with it and discuss it and maybe come up with some type of uh, solutions. So, so guys, I, I'm looking for any type of solutions. How do you handle dealing with these exclusive figures that you can't find? What are some of the ways you you deal with it or handle it? We want to hear all that, guys. You know the routine. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.